Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2020, Paper 2. This is the solution video for question 1. So question 1 on Paper 2 is a coordinate geometry question. Uh, part A says the coordinates of three points are A, 2 minus 6, B, 6 minus 12, and C, minus 4, 3. Find a perpendicular distance from A to the line BC. And then based on your answer, what can you conclude about the relationship between the points A, B and C? Um, just on the second part there, if we are asked to conclude something about the relationship between three points, I'm going to suspect that they're collinear points so that they're on the same line. So that means I'm going to suspect that this perpendicular distance from A to B, C will be zero. So that's just uh, the suspicion that I have. So we'll have a look. Um, here's the point B and C. So we need to find um, the, the equation of BC first. So I'm going to let this equal to x1, y1 and x2, y2. I'm going to then find the equation of this line. So that's y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Now, in order to find the equation, I need the slope. So I need to find the slope of this line. So the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over m, uh, x2, sorry, x2 minus x1. So fill in this slope formula, y2 minus y1. So that's 3 minus minus 12. So that's 3 plus 12 over x2 minus x1, so minus 4 minus 6, minus 4 minus 6, so that's equal to 15 over minus 10, so the slope is 15 divided by minus 10 is equal to minus 1.5. So now we can go and find the equation of this line, so y minus y1, so that's y minus 12, minus minus 12, so it's y plus 12, equals m, which was minus 1.5, times x minus x1, x1 is 6, so that's x minus 6. Now just work out this uh, brackets here, so we have y plus 12 is equal to minus 1.5x, and then minus 1.5 by minus 6 is plus 9. Now I want everything in the form of ax plus by plus c so everything to one side so i'm going to keep everything just on this side here so if it's uh, minus 1.5 x then i would have um, minus y by bringing that over minus y and then i would have 9 minus 12 is minus 3 equal to zero and I can make that easier for myself then just by multiplying across by minus one to get 1.5x plus y plus three is equal to zero. So this is now going to be my a, my b and my c for the perpendicular distance from a point to a line formula. So the perpendicular distance is equal to You'll find this in your log tables as well. The absolute value of AX1 plus BY1 plus C over the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now, A, B and C are here. 1.5, 1 and 3. X1 and Y1 then are these points here in a so it's a new x1 and y1 for us it's not this one here anymore so let's fill everything in we get the absolute value of ax1 so that's going to be 1.5 by 2 plus by1 so that's plus 1 times minus 6 plus c and c was 3 all over the square root of a squared plus b squared that's 1.5 squared plus 1 squared. Let's tidy this up a bit. So on the top I get 1.5 times 2, that's 3. 1 by minus 6 is minus 6 and then 3. So I have 3 plus 3 is 6, minus 6 is 0. So I get 0 on the top of that fraction. I don't need to worry about what's on the bottom. I can just leave it as that there because I know that a fraction with 0 on the top 
is equal to zero, which is what I suspected at the start. So the distance is zero. And that conclusion then is that the three points are collinear. On to part B then. Part B looks a bit tricky, but it's actually a, a quite a straightforward question. The diagram below shows two lines A and B. The equation of A is x minus 2y plus 1. That's this one here. Uh, the acute angle between A and B is theta. That's that angle there. The line B makes an angle of 60 degrees with the positive sense of the x-axis. That's that angle there. Find the value of theta in degrees. Correct to three decimal places. So we're going to just use geometry here for a second. We're looking for this angle theta. This angle and this angle are equal to each other because they're vertically opposite. So if I can find this angle, that's also theta. Now this angle here, we have a straight line. We have 60 degrees here. So this angle here is 120. There like that. So if I can find this angle here, let's mark it in red. We'll call it alpha. If we can find this angle alpha, then I can just do 180 minus alpha minus 120, and that'll give me theta. So how can I find alpha? Well, my equation here of x minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can use the equa equation for the angle between two lines and use this line and the x-axis, or you can possibly do it a simpler way. If I write this as y equal to mx plus c, so minus 2y equals minus x minus 1, divide across by 2 to get y is equal to minus x divided by minus 2 is a half x, and then minus 1 divided by minus 2 is a half. So that means that m is equal to a half slope of this line here is half. Now, because it's um, making an angle with the x-axis here, I can draw a little triangle. So let's draw this. If this has a slope of a half, that means I could draw a triangle where the rise is one and the run is two, like this here. We have a rise one and a run two. That's a right angle and that's my angle alpha. So I can just find this angle alpha now by using tan. The tan of alpha is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is one over two. So the inverse tan of one over two is equal to alpha. And if you pop that into your calculator, you'll get alpha equal to 26.565 degrees. So now I have the triangle where I have uh, 120, I have 26.565, sorry, you can't see that there, um, and then this is my angle theta, so theta is equal to 180 minus 120 plus 26.565, so 180 minus 120 plus 26.565 theta is equal to 33.435 degrees. Okay, so that's question one. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.